Music has been a big part of my life for as long as I can remember. Some of my earliest memories are of moonwalking and spinning around the living room, listening to Off the Wall. I was pretty young when I discovered how powerful music can be, the way certain chords make you feel, the way melodies convey emotions that can't really be expressed with words. It can give us perspective, resurrect memories, it hurts and heals and transports us to different places and times. Connecting with people on that level is so uniquely special and one of the reasons I make music. I started Breathe nearly three years ago with my friend Pharaoh, travelling between my studio in Hastings by the sea and London in a little studio at the end of Pharaoh's garden called The Shed. Those first few weeks as we settled into the album writing process were some of the most productive and exciting times I've had creating music. I found that making an album gave me the opportunity to explore a different and deeper side of songwriting, where I could take the listener on more of a journey. Can we turn back the days, take us back to the place we started? people ask me what the album is about, I tell them that I think it's my process of finding an equilibrium in life. The balance of living in a fast-paced, technologically advanced world while trying to take time to stay inspired and appreciate the journey. I found that balance partly through being in nature. I think I'm the most present in those moments when the stars are out or when the sunlight is shining through the tree canopy when the birds are singing as sunset turns to dusk. Night drives rolling through the woods till sunrise. Don't try to call me, I'm right. Hit perfect timing. Yeah. Coming along for the ride. And starlight. Mm. I love spending time in the city too. The energy and the buzz you feel as soon as you step off the train. We can break the tension down. Is your mind or take our time? Deeper than the night sky, gravity can hold us down. Uh, falling in slow motion, swimming with the stars above. Is this a new lights and noise. It can be energising and exciting to get caught up in it all, but sometimes after a while I feel the need to step back and slow down. Trying to work it all out 
Like many creatives, I find myself internalizing many of the insecurities I have as a musician. Worries I have about whether my music is good enough, if I'm making the right decisions as an artist, and whether I'll be able to secure a future doing the thing I love. I think it's easy to get lost in those thoughts, especially when there's no sure way of measuring success and when you're constantly comparing yourself to those around you. In the three years that I spent writing Breathe, I dedicated much of my free time to building a cabin out of recycled pallet wood in a remote forest with a couple of friends. We had no idea what we were doing and it definitely took a lot longer than it should have, but having something in my life that I was in complete control of and where I was directly responsible for whether it succeeded or failed really helped me to stay balanced during that time. It allowed me to shut out some of the noise and focus on what's in front of me. With so much negative energy and noise out there, I think it's never been more important to find that equilibrium, to take some time away from what's happening online and the apprehension about the future and be more present. So when you listen to Breathe, I hope it helps to disconnect from that and exist in the moment, even if that moment only lasts for 47 minutes.